I should cover more artists in the under in rap. I just don't know who's interesting, like who's bigger. Like I'm, I just. That's why I do the Instagram. Like I test shit. I test shit here. Like I fuck with Swappa. I fuck with, um, fuck with Yuck. He has a song going up on California right now, called California. Um, Trippy has been on a run right now. I feel like he's not really getting a lot of coverage at all, but he's been dropping banger song after banger song. I don't know. Maybe he took 30 mil from the label and they're just not trying to push it. I think we talked about that before. Maybe it's because he's dating Koi Ray now, so he's he's happy. He's making the best music of his life, but I feel like he dropped a love letter to you five and that completely killed everything he was doing. Oh, and the Machine Gun Kelly collab tape because nobody wanted that. Literally, that was like Machine Gun Kelly probably held him at gunpoint with a, a draco to force him to to be a primary on that project but like i don't know I, I don't know anyone that really listened to it like that my girl did at one point but she likes machine gun kelly but the last few songs he's dropped like even the collab with laser dim murder man um what were they on bando kid let's get it let's go and then this new snippet that he has right here rose gold like it kind of brings back like the old trippy sound which is what we wanted the whole entire time. We don't want the sad emo rap music. That shit is dead. Quite literally, as we've discussed with like all of the, the rappers who made it popular, like Uzi and X and Juice, like a lot of them passed away, Lil Peep. Like it kinda it kinda fizzled out. Now we're in this, you know, I wanna get hype shit. You see Ken Carson going up, it's because the hype shit is what works. And so Trippy Red's back on that. I'm glad to see it. Um I'm a big Trippy fan. I really am. Who else do I fuck with? Um, Sniper 2004 is going up. Fuck with him. He's got like a new take on rap too. It'll be interesting to see because he's white though. Let's see if people take him. But he's not like he's not like a classic white dude like Ian. So it won't be as controversial. But maybe people will accept him more because he's more like stylistic or artistic with it. And he's got like less of a mainstream sound. Um, I fuck with Osama. I'm kind of excited for this OK collab tape. We'll see how it does. Sometimes Osama's music kind of hits like Shay for me, where it's a bit too brain rot. I need I need the songs strictly made for 28 year olds. You gotta like he needs to make like a tape called Pushing 30 or something because uh, Flex Music that had some songs on there where I was it was like okay these could go these could go mainstream. Like blonde and whatnot. Who else is there? Y'all tell me. I don't fuck with Xavier so bass. I think he's trash. <laughs> like, I just I just don't get that type of music at all. Um who else? Sofago. Sofago's done, bro. I don't know what he's doing. I feel like he's just in a perpetual trap where his fans are expecting music, but every time he drops, he picks the wrong song or like he's trying to make something that's different than what blew him up in the first place. Just like Pink Hearts, as I said with Lone, like when you try and make mainstream music, you lose your fans and then you're not really making the level of mainstream music as like some of the bigger artists. So like you kind of just fall in this category where there are no fans whatsoever. Um, and so, he's not dropping the right music and so he, he just gets discouraged when the streams aren't doing well and the fans are complaining like you should have dropped this or like this leak but that makes him not want to drop again and so then you just keep waiting more and more he might just dip low-key like he might drop a couple songs here and there but i could not i might not see him drop a project before i push 30 and i'm i'm out of this shit same thing with yeet though yeah although yeet's trying to drop i just don't think it's hitting the same Hard Rock's cool. I feel like he needs to do something extra soon, though. I feel like that last project kind of just sounded the same. Like, I didn't really listen to it all too much. I like Molly Santana. Let's see. I already said Swappa. Swappa's fire. I fuck with him. I don't really like his singing music as much, but, like, when he, he does, like, almost the Cardi-type beats, like the old Cardi-type beats, he kills those. I feel like he's almost like a newish type Cardi. Who else? That's about it, honestly. I feel like there aren't really too many people who are making that big of waves. Like, Shay's definitely going up a lot. 
and i liked his singles or like the standalone songs that he dropped throughout the last year like bay and miley cyrus and whatever but i just don't know if the album was it i'll be I'll, I'll be tuning in to see like what the album does if people fuck with it like weeks or months afterwards or what he does in the next project i see what he was trying to do but i feel like he just ramped up the the stats on the the brain rot shit because his his music within the last year had characteristics of that but he just he just pushed it to the max and i just don't know if i can listen to literal brain rot it, it can have a little bit of brain rot to make me forget about all my sorrows and whatnot in the external world but because his music almost makes you feel like you're on drugs but it gets to a certain level where like oh man you're making me od i, I like i'm just chilling with like one hit of galaxy gas i'm i can't i can't do a whole fucking 50 canisters or else i'll literally be dead until Japan, until Japan, he's he's killing it. Although I feel like he needs to do something. I feel like he's been quiet for a while, but also I feel like that's just his brand where he's like super mysterious, but then he had, I don't know, some drama with not paying a producer or maybe he scammed a fan for a feature or something like that. Um, but I don't know. He's kind of like trying to do the hard rock method, but as you can see, like hard rock's already kind of falling out of relevance until he drops a project and then there's promo and like everything but i don't know just you need a personality nowadays and i feel like a lot of these artists they're like the whole reason laser dim blew up was because of his personality you need that and you need the music or you need something like super like the music needs to speak for itself like shay now do i like the music no however he doesn't really talk online but the music was so out there left field that you know it it gives him like that differentiation two hollis is fire i fuck with two hollis he's cool i saw him live in new york like he the the crowd was going wild too and then he signed that five million dollar deal like he killed it although i don't know if he's going to necessarily market to this audience it'll be to like the european audience like blade and whatnot and young lean maybe like edm style i could see him like partnering up with a big dj yeah five mil um oh santa's cool i fuck with him his last project was cool um i haven't heard much since then i feel like he just got to sign a deal and then really put a promo bag behind it so that he can get more out there because honestly i forgot about him asap rocky got signed for three m's in 2011 yeah but nowadays three m's is like 10 m's just because of inflation but yeah it's really just tiktok right now i feel like tiktok is you gotta blow up on TikTok, then you gotta move to Instagram and Twitter for the promo. Um, so I just feel like we're kind of waiting for a lot of the TikTok songs to kind of build up a catalog for like Swappa and other artists, and then that'll move over and, and like become more culturally ingrained into this space. But I just don't know if Swappa has hit that, but he was on Max's stream, so maybe soon like he'll be one of like the top guys. I feel like he is one of the top guys in the underground right now.